Hello, hi, it's Miss Martha. Martha teaches, Martha reads here. And I've got exciting news. I did get into the Amazon on site commission influencer program. Cue all the things. Woohoo! Okay, but the question is, how did I do it? Because I got rejected the first time. So I've got a lot of tips for you of what I did to change my videos when I was redoing the product videos because you have to do three, you have to get them improved by Amazon. When you do get approved, then you are able to get those on-site commissions from Amazon posting your videos and you don't have to do that on your own social media. It's all about Amazon putting your videos on their product pages and when people watch those videos and purchase the product, you get commission. So how did I finally get accepted? What did I do? I think a few of the things are gonna surprise you. And I'm also including a sample video of one of the videos that I did that actually did help me get approved. So stay tuned for all the things. So I feel like when I'm doing these videos, I'm always either getting coffee, have just gotten coffee, I'm going to the gym, have just gotten back from the gym. So I feel like my life revolves around gym and coffee and maybe that is the truth, but I did want to update you all on the Amazon Influencer Program. Have I finally gotten in? So stay tuned. Okay, so I did get in. Woo! I never got an email from Amazon saying that I got in though. So if you are applying for the Amazon Influencer on-site commissions, um, what you need to do is you need to check the reporting and then at the top, where it has your store ID, click on that and there's a drop down menu if you, you're in and it will have another store ID. So I didn't know that. So when you do get accepted to on-site commissions, it creates a separate store ID from what you normally have and it's some sort of like gibberish, starts with an O. And if you see that there, you are in. And I just realized that my reflection, you can see me filming. I hope that's not distracting. I probably shouldn't have even pointed it out, but okay. So if you see that extra store ID there, you are in, yay, raw. Now I've been making some videos. I've made about 14 videos. I've learned some things in the past couple of days. I'm gonna make a separate video to share what I learned about um, that. I've made zero dollars in commissions. So is this worth it yet? No. <laughs> but we're gonna see it's only been a week but i did want to share what i did to actually get my three videos accepted because you have to upload those three videos and they go uh through a like manual review it's not ai it's not like an automatic robot thing people actually watch them and once you get those three videos approved then it's a little less rigorous the um the standards and whatever you post i think is a little less rigorous so what i did to change to be able to get accepted is, first of all, I made all my videos horizontal, okay? The first time I did it, one of them was vertical. Now, after you get accepted, you can play around and you can do horizontal and vertical. But for my first three, I made them all horizontal, okay? Secondly, what did I do? I made sure that the lighting was immaculate. Everything was lit well. The production value was amazing. I did some B-roll type stuff. And, but I made sure that each one of my videos did show my face at some point in that whole thing. Does that matter? I don't know. It's just something that I tried. I also made sure that the audio was beautiful. I did not use any music under anything, which I didn't do that the first time, but I, I didn't do that. I also, on my storefront for my Amazon page, uh, for my Amazon influencer storefront, I went ahead and created some idea lists, Okay. I, I read some things that said that that mattered, that they wanted to see that you are actually going to put forth some effort into your storefront. So I went ahead and did that. So all I did was I created one idea list for like teacher faves and then one idea list for beauty favorites. And okay, does it matter? I don't know. I have no idea, but I did it and I did get it. I also made sure that I did not show barcodes on the product. I think I mentioned that in the last video that I was kind of sure that that's what I had done in uh, and got rejected for in the first one. So I did not show barcodes on any of the products. Also, I made sure, double sure, I didn't even talk about anything to do with value or pricing on the products, okay? I just didn't wanna go there. You're not supposed to talk about prices. 
I didn't do that in the first three, but I did talk about like how amazing, you know, for how affordable it was. Da, 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 da. So I just cut that out of all three of those videos. Now going forward, you can talk about how it's a good value or compare to whatever. It's great. Da, 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 da. But for these first three videos, I didn't do that. I also went through and I looked at the questions on the product pages and look, try to address those questions in the videos themselves. So it's something that would add value. I looked through the product specs. I made it a little more informative and less like, oh, I love this. I, 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 I tried to remove the eyes out. Um, not all the way because it is a review. You want to hear somebody's personal thoughts, but I didn't just focus on my personal opinion, but I tried to really highlight product features. Also, all three of the products that I did, I made sure to do a show. I didn't just tell, I showed. So I showed the, how to use the hole punch that I did. And I showed it punching holes into papers. I also highlighted how you would empty the little paper bits out of it and showed how you would lock it. So showing all the features of the products I think really helped as well. So I'm going to pop in here and show you one of the videos that I did for that um, hole punch. As you can see, it's not super fluid. It's not like my own voice. It's not necessarily what I'm going to do going forward, but it is what I did to get approved. So that's what I've read that you do what you need to do to get approved. And then going forward, you can definitely be more of yourself. As a teacher, I'm always looking for ways to make sure that my classroom stays clean and neat. And the Lysol wipes, the 80 count disinfecting wipes in the lemon scent is definitely one way that I do that. As you can see here, I've got some scribbles on a table that a student made. So I can simply take out one of these Lysol wipes. It's ideal for furniture and floor and bathrooms and kitchens, but especially my classroom. And it easily wipes away this mess. It's also safe for use on electronics. You can also see how tough it is. It's not gonna break apart, making it a great choice to tackle those difficult messes all around your home or your classroom. Okay, so that was one of the videos that I did use to get approved for on-site commissions and get that on-site commission unlocked. And now Amazon will use my videos in the product reel, if that's available, to sell that product and then I get a commission if someone purchases it after looking at my video. So we're gonna see how that goes. This has been week one. I have a total, I think, of 14 videos up and again, $0 in commission for week one. So is it gonna get better? Is it something that snowballs? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna see and I'm gonna update you. But school is about to start and as a teacher, that means that I'm gonna have a lot less time to put forth into this. I have to do lesson plans and all that fun stuff. My goal is going to be to do 10 videos a week. And so if I can do that, hopefully I can scale the business and I'm gonna share with you in the next video some of my goals. We're gonna review and see if I'm meeting them. We're gonna see what the next week or two bring. I'm hoping that it's gonna bring more than that goose egg that I'm currently seeing, but I will keep you updated. Bye guys. Oh, subscribe, do all the things, comment. Uh, anybody else out there trying in the Amazon influencer thing? I'm sure you're seeing it all over Instagram, TikTok, and I'm giving it a go. I'll let you know if it's worth it, especially for busy teachers to see if it's worth it for that extra coin. Right now, nothing though. Bye guys.